Hi friends! Welcome to the Woven Poncho tutorial video. This video is going to show you how, how to confidently use your woven poncho in a lot of different applications. So what's great about this piece is that it's fairly simple. There's just a hole, right, and a seam. So you see that one seam down the front? Make sure you cut your tag out, okay? It's okay if a little bit of it's showing because it won't show once it's turned around. Show you. But just make sure that tag is cut out. It's not attractive. It makes your outfit look tacky. So if you put the seam in the front and you slip that over your head, you can just wear your poncho as a scarf. Really simple running around, then you get a little chilly, you can open it up, get some arm coverage. Remember girls, when you open your woven poncho over your shoulders, you may have to tug it down a little bit in the back to get the coverage that you're looking for. Maybe you want it a little bit longer to hide where the bra bulges, or maybe you cover your arms, whatever suits your needs, okay? Now here we have a traditional poncho, short in the back, long in the front, and this is going to give you some coverage over the tummy and the hips, the arms. It's going to create a slight V, which is always attractive. Now if you take this seam, you go down the seam just a few inches, pull that fabric up, create some, some room there, you kind of create a little tail, wrap that around your finger, tuck it through the hole and pull it through really simple and now we've created this cute little feminine top that we call the butterfly top kind of gives you little butterfly wings <laughs> now you can change this look simply by turning that knot a little bit to the side now be careful you don't want it centered right there that would be a little weird so keep it up a little bit closer to the shoulder away from this area okay <laughs> Anyhow, so that's also really cute and playful and adds to any outfit. Now, the seam down the side, I'm taking that seam, I'm pulling it to the side of my body. I like to keep it a little bit towards the back of the arm. I find that when the seam is right in the front, it's a little bit distracting. It takes away from other details that I'd like people to be focusing on when they're looking at me. So I try to keep that seam a little bit more to the back. Some girls prefer covering a more area up here. Some girls don't mind and maybe you want to pull that down and give yourself a little cowl. But with this shape, you're going to get more tummy and hip coverage on this side. You can pull it down to give yourself a little bit of booty coverage. Elbow and come down with that on this side. So that is probably the most popular way to wear this in what I've experienced in the last three years to all the ladies I've sold them to. Um, along with this one. Same exact design, but you're just going to pull it down off your shoulder a little bit. Because remember, ladies, no matter what your age or your size, your shoulder tends to be a really nice area to show a little bit of softness and femininity, a little bit of classy sexy. So that's a really nice one. Um, you can also stick your arm out if you're brave enough. If you're still at that point where you're Feeling good about letting your arms wave free in the wind? <laughs> Do it. Go for it. This is a really popular way to wear it too. You can take this fabric and just tie it together. See how I'm doing that? I'm just grabbing it, creating two little tails, tying them together. And now it becomes a little bit more of a fitted top. Kind of Grecian looking. It's pretty, huh? <laughs> Anyhow, you can open that up. now. I have the seam under the arm, so it creates this long line. If I were to, to do the same exact thing on the other side of the poncho, and now the seam is on top as opposed to under, you see that it creates a little bit more of a symmetrical, uh, shorter. This is good for my girls that aren't as tall. Maybe, you know, maybe my girls five, six, and under, but actually anybody can do it. But I know that some of my girls that are under five, six, sometimes they don't like the extra long things. I actually like it on you guys, so there. <laughs> All right, so now I'm just gonna turn the poncho around until I have the seam centered down the back, okay? Then I'm just gonna tug that extra fabric down, give myself a little elegant cowl, 
And now you have the long in the back, some little fairy wings, <laughs> and then a short little cowl in the front. Now this is really great, I think, for nights when you're going to be dressing an outfit up too. I think this is one of the more appropriate ways to wear it for a wedding or an evening out where you have to put on heels and sparklies and all that jazz. Um, let's see what else. So you can put your arms outside of this poncho completely and wear it like a little halter top, just a fun little layer. You can turn, oh, you can wear it on your hips, as you can see. I'm turning the seam to the side so I get it more of an asymmetrical. Uh, you can grab that fabric again, pull it up and around, and now you have a little knot on your hip, so that creates a fun little point of interest there. And you can turn that any way you want. You can turn it to the front, you can turn it towards the back, you get my drift. Um, now I'm going to bring the poncho back up over the girls. Now I have the seam in the front, but I'm going to create that same little tail I did earlier. Wrap it around my fingers, pull it through, and then you get that cute little sarong top look. Isn't that adorable? So, you know, I don't have a mirror next to me, so girls just, if there's anything I'm messing up, just bear with me, but I'm sure you get the gist of this. Um, there's so many fun ways to wear this poncho. I mean, I could go on and on and on, and I am going to show you a few more, but remember that this allows you to be creative, this piece, so you can come up with your own ways, and then you can send in videos and let me know what you came up with. <laughs> um, so I'm going to grab a black poncho just so you can see how I'm going to tie the two together to become a jacket. So now I have the seam down, I put my arm through the hole, I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Put your arm through the hole, adjust it where you want it, now you're going to turn around. Now you can do this on a hanger ladies because I've been doing this for a while and even I stumble <laughs> with tying a knot behind my head. So you can use a hanger, hang the ponchos on each side of the hanger just like you would a top, and then tie the knot. I think tying the knot closer to the neck provides the most security for keeping it on your shoulders throughout the evening or the day. You can go a little bit down, like maybe mi the mid upper back up here, but I wouldn't probably go any further because then you'll be dealing with it slipping off a lot. But, you know, whatever's right for you. So there we go. We have that cute little playful jacket, which you can tie in the front, get some tummy coverage, bring the eye in, get that little V going in the front. You might have a little bit of peekaboo in the back there, but just the perfect amount if you ask me. You can create your own little tails like we've been doing all along. See how I'm doing that? I'm going to come a little bit closer. I'm just going to grab the fabric and tie them together. And that's a cute little look too. So you can bring that knot anywhere you want. So you can tie it up here by the girls, kind of creating like an umpire. And then you can go a little bit lower, bringing in the eye, giving the illusion of an hourglass. And then, like we did before, all the way down over the tummy. So you decide what works best for you. You can take it and you can pin it up like this, creating a little cowl. There's just so much you can do. On the same note with the jacket, we started off with the seam under the arm. But I'm going to actually do another jacket where you put the seam up on top of the shoulder. You're going to love this. Okay, so now <laughs> I'm doing my infamous behind the head knot again. And here we go. Voila! We have another jacket, but this has a completely different shape. Now this is going to expose a little bit more back here, so if you want to cover booty, you might have to wear a long top underneath, okay? So just keep that in mind. But again, being creative, we could possibly even tie the bottom together down here and bring it closed so you can have two knots. 
So that's an idea. See, this just allows you to be a, as creative as you want to be. That's what's so great about these pieces. Not only can you ball them up in your purse and just shove them in there until you need it, but look at this. You can even do the traditional around the neck. Cute, right? And then if you twist that again and pull it through again, you get a cute little braided look. Isn't that fun? You can twist it to the side. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm sure that there's even more that I haven't shown you today, but I just wanted to give you the basic ideas. Now remember, ladies, whichever way you turn the seam is going to create a new shape. You can center it down the front, center it on the sides, center it in the back, whatever suits your needs. You can even wear it around your hair in a convertible to keep your hair from blowing around. So um, maybe for your friends that are about to have a baby and they're nursing and they need just a little bit of something to feed the baby. <laughs> Anyways, um, let us know if you need any more. They come in a large array of colors, so just get in touch with us, okay? We wear at yahoo.com. O-U-I-W-E-A-R at yahoo.com.